give you a chance to share your thoughts uh, on the passing of Chairman Cummings. Well, it was a very personal loss for many members of Congress. There wasn't a dry eye when Speaker Pelosi took to the floor to talk about Elijah Cummings, the person. And there were two things that I remembered. Uh, one, uh, actually right before the Michael Cohen hearing, uh, Elijah Cummings took all of us into a room and he said uh, that the weight of history is on us and that we ought to conduct ourselves uh, in a civil way, in a respectful way, and worthy of our constitutional oaths. So he had a sense of profoundness uh, and someone who people respected. And the second, on a more lighter note, I remember one of my committee hearings, I was uh, on my phone uh, texting uh, and uh, I started hearing this booming voice saying, row, row, row. And I looked up and it was almost, he was a school teacher uh, sort of saying, get in line, what are you doing? You're in the United States Congress on my committee, uh, pay more attention. So he's just someone who was uh, funny, uh, respected, wise, and uh, uh, touched a lot of people. Well, you, what is the plan for the committee now to uh, continue working without Chairman Cummings? Well, we're, the work continues. Uh, one of the things Chairman Cummings was so uh, passionate about and proud of is he assembled the best staff. And you talk to a lot of people in Congress, they will tell you the Oversight Committee has one of the best staffs in Congress. And so they will continue the work and all of us uh, will uh, continue the work uh, and uh, do it in the spirit that Chairman Cummings wanted. I mean, one thing he was so gracious and fair to Mark Meadows or Jim Jordan, even when he disagreed, he'd always bend over backwards to try to respect the process. Uh, and I think we just have to follow his footsteps, a commitment uh, to the Constitution and values, but also a commitment to civility uh, and, uh, and to the process.